Hello everybody, it's Old Shaziz here. I'm out here in the Mad Science Laboratory. Uh, yeah, there I am. Alright, well, uh, I'm uh, doing a uh, update on my uh, plasma reactor. I've still got a few problems with it, uh, but uh, anyway, I just kind of want to give you a little bit of a rundown what's going on. I finally got my argon tank down here, and uh, don't think you can see that very well. Let me take you on a shaky ride down there. Alright, well I got my argon gauge there and uh, flow meter and I've got my argon tank down here. This is uh, pure argon, 100%. Uh, it's not the uh, mix uh, argon and uh, carbon dioxide or whatever. But uh, anyway, Got a, got a few issues with the uh, plasma reactor so far because of uh, leaks and such. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, totally encapsulating this entire reactor into uh, uh, clear uh, acrylic epoxy resin. I've got a leak around the new probes that I designed right here. so. I figure if I uh, encapsulate it completely in resin then it'll be like a solid block and uh, won't be no opportunity for it to leak because I got to be able to uh, pressurize it, uh, vacuum it out first and then pressurize it. And uh, ahead of time I apologize for the noise because uh, it's going to be a probably a pretty noisy video and at some portions oh, you probably won't be able to hear me very well but I'll uh, try to do the best that I can with what I've got to work with so let me see if I can straighten this camera up a bit alrighty then that looks like it's not too bad alright well what you want to be looking for in this I, I don't know how well you can see this but this wire right here is actually going through this spark gap right here which is going through those uh, spectrum tubes right there and then over here to this spark gap right here with the uh, fluorescent bulb starter and you'll see that blinking off and on as it gets warm it'll click off click on and then uh, that goes directly to the ground earth ground so this isn't connected to anything other than the, the actual earth ground via the spark gap right there and what you want to look to is inside this reactor because it's leaking it's not going to get the full plasma effect but you'll see the uh, RX little mini lightning bolts inside there it'll be white and uh, you'll actually get to see them at one point when I raise the pressure of the uh, argon inside the uh, chamber there then uh, you'll get to see them moving back and forth hopefully and uh, uh, over here I have my little mini generator that I've been using to uh, produce high voltage that I'm running back through a battery charger that I'm actually running back into this battery itself in order to uh, give it a little bit more boost and we'll see how that works out. I uh, can't make any promises at this point because uh, Murphy's Law always seems to want to kick in. But uh, <clears throat> in case you don't know Murphy's Law, whatever can go wrong will go wrong and chances are it usually does. So with that said, I've got a leak up here that I have to reseal this right here. When they brazed it, they didn't get a good job on this side. So I've got a leak there. I've got a leak over here. And so there's actually uh, argon gas being leaked out via that way. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, the first noise you're going to hear is this vacuum kicking on. I've, I've made a homemade vacuum pump out of a miniaturized vacuum. You'll hear that kick on. I'm going to clear the chamber out. Oh, and then once after I clear the chamber out, you'll hear the a little electric generator kicking on. And then I will uh, throw the switch and see where we stand there and add argon gas as need be. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you that even with the leaky system that it does have the power that I said it would have. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up here. Alright, if you notice there's already an arc going on in there, I'm going to introduce some argon gas.
I can't leave this running too long because of the actual leak because argon gas does have the capability to cause you to suffocate so hopefully you got to see that spreading out I'm waiting for the pressure to drop down I'll put a little bit more in there once the leaks are sealed up you should see pretty much that same view inside there continuously you can see that it's arcing across pretty good now while I still have a little bit of argon in there let me uh, show you how much power I don't know if you can see that ah I don't know if you can see that very well but let me add a little bit more argon Now that's uh, quite a bit of power. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to shut this off for just a second. I want you to focus on this right here. If you can notice the plasma build up inside there, this thing will uh, continue to get hot until it actually melts the glue that it's setting on. There's quite a bit of voltage up in there. I'm going to try to hit the vacuum one more time. Just a little bit more pressure. I don't want to go up above 10 pounds because it is leaking. And I could literally get a lightning bolt to the face if that leak makes it out to me. But you can see the white arc inside there. What you're looking at is a essentially a miniature lightning bolt. And if you notice, that is getting hot and is beginning to drop, so I'm going to have to shut part of it down and get my hand out of the way. <clears throat> there we go. Hot enough to melt glue. Look at that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shut this puppy down. See if I can re-glue that back for, let it cool down. But, uh... Yeah, that puppy, ah, ooh, hard on the fingers. All right, there's quite a bit of current moving through that thing right there. Let me uh, fire this uh, thing up one more time, just for a brief instant, without it being uh, actually grounded back to the body itself. And show you you can hear the difference in that sound and see that that uh, that range has definitely expanded you can see the distortion hopefully on those monitors over there now listen as it gets closer right, see how it speeds up it definitely speeds up to the point where huh, it's not even audible anymore let me add a little bit of argon. You hear that? Can you hear that? <laughs> See that plasma reaction inside there? It'll be a, a whole lot more distinct once I actually get it sealed off. So instead of wasting out my argon, I just wanted to give you a, a sneak preview and then go outside and get some fresh air so I don't choke myself out but you can see I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum that All right. Whew. Huh. there you go folks uh, I'm at 10 minutes and 26 seconds. I'm still alive. My hair's uh, standing up a little bit, but I ain't fried myself. 
But you can see that's a whole lot of power coming from that plasma reactor and I fully expect it to be a whole lot more when I finally get the thing encapsulated in the acrylic resin and then I'll share that video with you and once I get to the point where I know it's perfectly safe then put the information out you could build one yourself. But uh, essentially what you're looking at right there is a gas filled Tesla coil plasma reactor based off of uh, that man right there, Nikola Tesla's uh, Tesla coil with the uh, primary, secondary, and the top load on there. Uh, essentially uh, his surface area over there has been kind of shrunk down via this tubing right here. Uh, since the electrons travel on the outer skin of the uh, copper wiring, then I'm expecting it's probably doing the same thing on not only the outer, but the inner and the argon gas itself in, in, in there energizing and bouncing around, creating an amplification effect of the, uh, the uh, energy. So it's all, once again, running off of this 12 volt car battery right here that has one dead cell in it. If I fire this thing up, you can see that there's quite a bit of voltage coming from that thing right there. There's high voltage inside there. And when I fire this one right here up, I'm actually putting energy back via that little mini generator in through this surge protector and that right there. And so the all the energy that is running everything right now, including that little light bulb up there at the top, is coming directly off of that battery. All right, everybody, yeah. Let me shut that down. So, <laughs> I think I'm crooked. All right, well, uh, peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned because I've got some really exciting things and a lot of good stuff to share with you. And uh, I hope that all this information will benefit uh, somebody out there somehow, some way and eventually work for my ultimate goal, which is to get everybody off the grid and give free electricity to the world before I, I bite the dust. I've got a lot of good information on my radio show. If you want to check me out on uh, MSI Radio, it's uh, broad, rebroadcast on multiple networks, but uh, I, I do a show every Saturday. It's 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central, and then I do one on Sundays from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central. And I'm also working on some earth battery kind of technology, uh, some, uh, some solar and uh, other wind technologies, all this information that I plan on sharing with everybody and his brother for free. So that's, if, you have, if you're new to my channel and you want to subscribe, uh, I appreciate it. And uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Peace and love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Take care.